There's a sign of it. You don't get 29,000 people crammed into a stadium for an afternoon merely of giggles. Hearts and Rangers are now two of the biggest draws in British, let alone Scottish football. And the crowd in this beautiful afternoon expect a game to match. And that's the man in charge, Billy Knowles from Inverurie and Aberdeenshire on this, as I said, absolutely immaculate afternoon for football. Hearts are pretty well at full strength, Rangers are not. And I think the consensus view would be that uh, Rangers require Graham Sinus sitting in the stand as much as they need a hole in the head. I think the last two games without him have proved that. The game in Finland and the game in the league against uh, Dundee and there. As a young lad making his debut, 19 year old David McFarlane, debut in the Premier Division. He's already played in a cup game against Morton, and it will be an exacting time for the youngster in this superb atmosphere. Cahoon, David McPherson, whipped away by Cooper, lying deep. Fleck, nice turn round, Fleck. Levine goes with them. Corner kick, Craig Levine. One of the reasons why Hearts are the best defensive record in Scottish football. Cammy Fraser, the ex-Hearts player, getting an affectionate boo. And he with a corner kick. There's Butcher, that's the back. Flipped away by Walter Kent. Nickel. Now Fraser. We're all lining up for it. There's Cooper, there's Fraser. That might be slightly strong. It is. Kemi Fraser, who's just recovered from injury. There might have been a slight doubt about him in this match. But there he is. He might not be just 100% yet. Because Rangers' uh, resources in midfield are being sorely strained by injury. And we're having a substitution right away. Now, I wondered about that. It's Cammy Fraser who's gone off. I wondered about that uh, conditional fitness because he didn't really go after that first ball. And there's a worried Graham Sunnis right down at the tunnel. McQuist. Mickle. Nichols steadying somebody, and not to worry, he had a very much under control. Cooper, nobody inside him, now Sandy Clark. Well, there's a lovely ball through, and Walter Kent trying to put it right under the path of Robertson. There was a little chink in that Rangers defence. Hart's captain saw the opportunity. Playing it wide, Monroe. Butcher, taking all the time in the world. Total of his judgment, I think, if Whittaker has hot his back, looking at that uh, gesture he made there. That's black. Oh, it's almost short. And back to Butcher. Yes, he was short with that. Trying to be too casual. There's Cooper. Oh, and a ball to the right to the front of the goal. And that was black. And Rangers looking very ragged in defence indeed. Really out of that very bad pass bite by Terry Butcher, putting his goalkeeper, and consequently the rest of the defence under pressure. Hearts may well have capitalised upon it, but they, they didn't. A rather slack shot, ending it all. Here's Butcher. There's McFarlane. It's wide to Bell. Not a bad ball, Bell. Tries the one too well marked, there's McFarlane. Can't get the shot in. And uh, Dickie Bell operating away in the right with McFarlane in the middle of the field. There he is, Dickie Bell will be, roughly speaking, fulfilling 
the same kind of function as uh, Kenny Fraser, who went off, as I said, after only four minutes. Ferson. Akai. Here's Kent. Berry. Levine. Might even try the shot and does brilliantly. If Craig Levine is not in the Scotty squad for the next international, I think that should be something of a protest. This big and very mature youngster showing his skill and his class, wrong footing, perfect judgment for the shot, and a very fine save by Chris Woods. Clark Long is there, there's a shot and brilliantly it's in. He'll get it. One nothing for Hart. 17 minutes gone. Very, I think, getting that final touch. You're living the Rangers goalkeeper. In it swung in that cluster of players. Getting that touch round and in it went despite the efforts of the Rangers goalkeeper. Jordan. Good, just slightly beat in there to McPherson. This Rangers defence is looking quite groggy at times. Free kick, yes. Gary McKay. Impeded as he went through it, he's looking strong, Mackay, today. Sandy Jordan, along with Kenny Black. There's a touch on, and there was no cover. Flat. Flank again to Cooper. To Flank. Here's McFarlane. Drives it in. Good effort by the youngster. And I think when you're being hampered uh, or harassed the way Rangers are in press back, it is as well that somebody uh, tries to pick something up like that, the way McFarlane did. Free kick, and very blatant too. Robert Fleck is certainly fighting very hard for Rangers, giving everything he's got. Jardin. Oh, good play by Hart Mackay. Oh, it's a brilliant save and a superb move. The best move of the game so far. Brilliant vision by Mackay. As he set it up, went for it, flicked it across for Clark, and that's wood to his best. What a marvellous afternoon of football we're having now. Berry is injured. Now, he's another of the ones who have just recovered from an injury, and I wonder if it's exactly the same thing. He's been out for some time. Came back against Dukla. No, I don't think it is. I think it's just a knock on the head. Well, Neil Berry very courageously carrying on, looking like Geronimo now, as Rangers get this throw in. Cooper, it's a mighty one. Back it goes, brilliantly saved by. Oh, superb save by Smith. One of these involuntary saves that the Hearts goalkeeper is famous for. Confusion in a hard track, the shot in and then pinning it down, superb stuff. Levine, superb ball. Kai, there goes Bell. Good defending by Bell and setting Cooper up. Cooper, it's a nice ball through Fleck and well judged. 
Whitaker allowing the ball to go across, flex body, and just propelling it back. Well, there's David Cooper. He's not exactly stamped uh, a huge mark in this game yet. Just uh, little flickers from him now and again. Cahoon, a different kind of attitude from Cahoon. And there's McPherson just putting it back. The goalkeeper's in trouble. McPherson really committing suicide almost for Rangers. I mean, it's one thing to be cool, it's the other thing to almost ice up, which twice in the game we've seen Rangers defenders doing. Butcher. Monroe. Easily tackled by Kidd. Good support by Mackay. Beautiful ball through again, and there is Woods and the Rangers defence. Taken apart by the versatility of this Hearts attacking. Good understanding, all emanating from the captain, Walter Kent. There's the half-time whistle. The Hearts supporters of the crowd and title to celebrate like that, Neil Berry going off, he's got a very bad cut indeed, and I think he exemplifies the spirit that Hearts have shown today in a first half that they've largely dominated, certainly Rangers have had the one or two chances, and the goal, you could hardly call it a spellbinder, but it counts in a very crowded penalty area, that man who'd uh, got off with a bloody but unbowed head, getting the final touch, to give Hearts a lead that I think, with the kind of defence that they've been showing in front of a very impoverished Rangers attack at times, looks as if it could play to midnight without too much happening to it of any great distress. But you never can tell. The second half might prove to be entirely different. Meanwhile, the indication of young... Robert Fleck there, that he wants something out of Rangers in the second half, and I'm sure Alec McDonald in particular must be pleased after that. Disappointment in Europe, an arduous journey behind the iron curtain, and coming back, turning in a performance in the second half, which was a mix, a decided mix of determination, showed that the stamina is still there, and some beautiful skill at times, and that is not exactly what I meant by skill, it's a free kick. taken, Cooper, easily beaten by Cahoon, Cahoon coming back every time, like that, he really fights back Cahoon, he doesn't stay up, he comes back, retrieves, Jimmy Nichol, the Rangers passing from the back hasn't been all that accurate, Durant the best player so far, Durant, who can hold the ball, can knock it about a bit. Flag, neatly played back by Levine. What a great player he is. There's McPherson. And surely Graham Sunnis, watching that first half, must have been given the shivers by the performance of his defence. They've really been putting it together, and now all of a sudden, I think the sheer aggression of Hearts, the pace at which they played at Rangers, ruffling them all the time, didn't help at all. Flag. There's Butcher to McPherson. Bell. Young David McFarlane hasn't been seen too much. Run forward there by Jimmy Nicol, he eventually gets it. Well, disappointing finish by Nicol there, and rather symptomatic of Rangers' performances afternoon so far. Butcher, not getting that one, beaten in the air again. Here, John Robertson. 
and a very useful half. That should be the Rangers keeper's ball and surely foul, yes. Right underneath that, and so was Sandy Clark, right underneath the goalkeeper. Coist to Durant to Cooper. Cooper for Rangers. Beautiful performance by Cooper, and a turnless goal, the equaliser. Brilliant run by Cooper. I think it may have gone straight in, or McFarlane got the touch, but in three minutes, Rangers have equalised. And that was David Cooper, who had a very indifferent first half by his standards, stamping class on Rangers' play. They couldn't stop him as he bored in, flicking it in there. It might have been a final touch by somebody, but the Rangers players were certainly congratulating Cooper. Cooper. Jordan with him this time. Cooper. Right on his game now. Tantalizing this defense. Cooper. Durant. Nice run forward. There's a beautiful shot and it's put away. Not even close shot. What a transformation in this Rangers team from the first half. A lot more determination about it, and of course, if you score a goal in three minutes, then that kind of play by McCoy flows from that itself. A great save by Smith. Beautifully swept ball across there by McCoy. He did that very well with his left foot. Gil Berry fighting hard for Hearts. What a marvellous player he's turned out to be for Hearts in midfield. Cooper. Oh, beautifully put in ball, and Berry's there again. Total miscue, and a snatch shot there by Robert Fleck. Nevertheless, the magic that this man is unending. He had a very indifferent first half, as I said, by his standards, but when you've got it the way he has, then he can never be let free. Ali McCoist. To Bell. There's Bell. He tries to curl it in and brilliantly save. Very intelligent move there by Dougie Bell. And as he curled it round, I think initially Henry Smith might well have thought it was going well over the top, then it seemed to dip. And the big hearts goalkeeper showing his class. Corner to Rangers. McPherson touches it. Way by Sandy Clark. There's Butcher. Beautifully to the side. Clark. Walter Kidd just got away with that. Hart's picking up in midfield again through this man, Mackay. And the Hart supporters responding to it. Rangers are the better of that start of the second half. Bad clearance there, Andy Watson. Oh, there's a push, surely. Yes. And uh, quite frankly, Cohen's been doing a lot of that. About ten minutes remaining. Kid. Hart seeing more of the ball in midfield. Looked outside. Cahoon can't put it there and away by Jimmy Nichol. Great chance for Hart. Great 
run forward by Cahun that time. And the base of it was Sandy Clark in midfield, pushing the ball to the side, getting the forward run. Cahun doing very well and Rangers just surviving. Al Cooper. Slack with it and Fleck gets away. Fleck for Rangers. Gerard inside him. There's Cooper. And beautifully back there. Cool play by the Hawks defense again. Try to find Clark. Nice done by McFarlane. And again, good run by the lad. Now Cooper. Cooper with it. Kid goes with him. Back to Durant. There's a shot. All the way to the side though. Another Hudson Rangers could get that winning goal, and I must say I enjoyed the superb afternoon. Lovely sunshine, a huge crowd. There was almost a competition in the terraces between the Hearts and Rangers supporters themselves, and it got through to the players. It was a game almost like a cup tie. And I must say, Rangers of old might have crumbled. They didn't. They fought back. And Hearts, it is quite clear, were no one-off team last season. I know a lot of people wrote them off and said, well, they got to the final of the Scottish Cup, and they were within six minutes of winning the league championship itself. That'll just be them gone now. They're far from gone. An indication of the huge support is a consistent.